All right, class, time to reveal your paintings. Uh, Dennis, you want to start with yours? Sure. Yeah. Mine is of a sunrise. Well, that is very nice. Very good. Daniel? Yeah. I, uh, I wanted to go like more abstract, so I just drew some shapes and lines, but I think it's pretty cool. Is there any hidden meaning in there? Or? Nope. It's just shapes and lines. How cerebral. All right. And you, sir, what do you got? I have illustrated something that runs deeper than art. Some might even call it worthy of the Louvre. Gesundheit. So unwrap your vapid eyelids and witness this. <laughs> um, if you squint your eyes hard enough, you might be able to unlock the deeper meaning. Yeah. Uh, no, I, th I, I think we got it. Yeah, it seems pretty straightforward. Oh, does it? <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, I'm picking up what you're putting down. At first glance, you might see a colorful assemblage of jagged, squiggly lines. But once you peer more deeply into the piece, there is a secret message to be found. Uh, over here. Yo, yeah, let's see what you made. I drew a puppy. Wow, jeez. That is really good. Yeah, wow, you can do this professionally, man. <laughs> a puppy? <laughs> what, what are we, children? <laughs> Where, where's the symbolism? The allusions to literature. I named him Scooby. You smooth-brained boy. Hey, let's reserve our critiques for the artwork, please. Yeah, sorry. Can we go back to his painting? Like, is there something we're missing with it, or...? Do you expect me to dumb down my artwork for the lumpen masses? <laughs> there is nuance here! There are tasteful layers. <laughs> Sounds like nachos, am I right? I can't just spell out the meaning for you. No, I mean, I feel like you spelled it out pretty clearly. Think Gogon. Think the savage. I intrepidly follow in those voluptuous footsteps. It's okay if you don't understand my art yet. Allow the stench of my work to marinate in your nostrils. You know, I thought I understood it, but the more I look at it, the more questions I have. I think it means he like feet. That's it. That's it. You're starting to get it. Oh, so it's exactly what we thought. Certainly I'll be misunderstood in my lifetime, but like the great Van Gogh, future generations will understand me for whom I truly am. Okay, well, I think we should just end here. Uh, terrific job, everyone. Give yourselves a round of applause. Sketch after the sketch sponsored by Squarespace. New business idea. Racebook. No, it's a website to see who the fastest runner is. I'm just gonna do the ad. Squarespace is an easy to use website builder that is so simple, you could launch your website today if you wanted. Oh man, somebody just broke my 200 meter dash record. Yeah, you're not gonna take me down that easily, Usain Bolt. Usain Bolt? Squarespace has this cool newsletter feature where you can customize email templates and check analytics every time you send. Man, that Usain Bout guy is pretty quick. He must have been going like 10 miles an hour. You can also set up calendars so your clients can see your availability and book appointments easily, baby. Hey, why aren't you on Racebook? Because it's a terrible name. What are you, Slowpoke? <laughs> You can build your own website today. Just head to squarespace.com slash Daniel Thrasher for your free trial. And when you are ready to launch, use code Daniel Thrasher for 10% off your first purchase. Oh, I just got a message from Mikhail Pahelepis. Michael Phelps? Me like feet!